this application problem is about cost function, average cost function, and marginal average cost function. Let's read the problem. The cost function of a business is given below, where x represents the number of units manufactured. Our cost function is c of x equals to 10x plus 3,000. So let's put this right here. So we have c of x equals to 10x plus 3,000. The first question is asking, calculate the cost of making 0, 1, and 10 units. So if you make 0 units, you do nothing. So what happens if you do nothing? If you do nothing, so that is 10 times 0 plus 3,000. So that is equals to 3,000. So even though you do nothing, you still have to pay $3,000. This is completely normal. So let's say you have a store and then you do nothing in, in the entire month. Do you? Is that means you don't spend any money? The answer is no. Even though you do nothing, you still have to pay the rent, right? So there is some basic cost that you will have to pay even though you do nothing, all right? So how about one unit? So if you increase X by one, so that means 10 will be added to the 3,000, right? So 10 times one plus 3,000, that is equals to 3,010. So for based on this cost function for each units you manufacture, you have to spend additional $10. So if you make one, you spend 10, you make two, you spend 20, you make three, you spend 30. And then what happens if you make 10? So when x is equals to 10, we have 10 times 10 plus 3,000. So that is $3,100, right? So 10 times 10 is equals to 100. So that's it for the cost function. Moving on to part B, find the average cost function, all right? Average cost. So let's back to the basic. So let's say you have three homework scores. The first homework score is 10, the second homework score is 20, the third homework score is 30. What is your average homework score? So you have three, three numbers. What is the average? The average is you add them up, so you add them up and then you divide it by the number of homework, which is equals to three. And the answer is equals to 20. That means on average, you earn 20 points on each homework. So that's how you calculate the average. You add every number up and then divide it by the numbers of entries you just added. The number of numbers, the number of you know numbers you just added divided by divided by three. So let's erase this. We have a function. We have one function. Should I just divide it by the function by one? The answer is no. So you have a cost. You want to find the average, so all you have to do is you divide it by, you take the cost function and then divide it by the number of units manufactured. So let me write this down. So average cost function that is equals to the cost function divided by the number of units you manufacture. So that means we have average cost function so this is called c bar so if you put a bar at the top of c the bar means average so c bar so that is equals to c of x divided by x so you have 10x plus 3000 divided by x so that is equals to 10x divided by x plus 3000 divided by x so c bar of x that is equals to 10 plus 3000 divided by x. So this is the average cost function. So average cost function. So that is our average cost function. And calculate the average cost of making 30 units. So if you make 30 units, what's the average cost? So the average cost is you plug in 30. So that is equals to 10 plus 3000 divided by 30 and then so you first you take the 3000 divided by 30 so that is equals to 100 and then you add 10 to it so that is equals to 110 dollars that is your average cost of making 30 units and then what was next is the average cost function and decreasing function the answer is is yes or no this function can you take a look at the graph? So C bar of X, that is equals to 10 plus, oh, actually let's don't, okay. Three, 
3000x to the negative 1. So this looks like a reciprocal function, right? What is the graph looks like? The graph looks like this. So first of all, x cannot be equal to 0. So what happened when x becomes very, very large, which is the next question. So what happened if the demand is extremely high? So let's answer this and then I will go back to the graph. So what happened when the demand is extremely high? So what happened when x is infinity? So you have limit as x approaches to infinity of c bar of, of x. So that is limit as x approaches to infinity, 10 plus 3000 divided by x. So once you have 3000 divided by infinity, you get a zero. So this is just a 10 plus zero, which is equals to 10. So that tells me y equals to 10 is a horizontal asymptote. So here is what the graph looks like. First of all, x cannot be equal to zero. Let me draw the x-axis and then the y-axis. So x cannot be equal to zero. So we have a vertical asymptote. x cannot be equal to zero. And then the horizontal asymptote is y equals to 10. So we have a y equals to 10. And then what's the graph looks like? The graph looks like this. So we have one piece right here and then the other piece right here, just like the reciprocal function. So this one, do we need the piece on the left hand side of the y axis? The answer is no, right? Because on the right hand side of the y axis, x is equal to zero. The number of units produced cannot be equal to zero. So basically we don't need the piece on the left hand side of the y axis. So all we need is this piece. So is, p is this piece increasing or decreasing? So this piece is decreasing, right? So therefore, the function is a decreasing function. So decreasing function. Now, so that answers the previous question. The function is a decreasing function. When the demand is extremely high, you just simply let x goes to positive infinity. So once you plug it in, 3000 divided by infinity is equals to zero. 10 plus zero is equals to 10. And the 10 is the average cost if the demand is extremely high. So the answer, the entire part B, so how about part C? marginal average cost function marginal average cost so what is marginal what is marginal mean so every time you see the word marginal that means rate of change what is rate of change mean rate of change means that means you have to find the derivative so since they are asking for the marginal average cost, then you will have to find the derivative of the average cost function. So you have c bar of x that is equals to, what is that equal to? That is equals to 10 and then plus 3000 divided by x, which is equals to 10 plus 3000 times x to the negative one. And then the marginal average cost function, so that is c or c bar prime of x. So all you have to do is you bring the negative one down. So you have a zero minus 3000 and then x to the negative two. So that is you have minus 3000 and then x to the second power in the denominator. So this is your, what is, what is this? This is your marginal average cost function. So this is marginal average cost function. Again, every time you see the word marginal, that means rate of change. So rate of change means you have to take the derivative. All right, so that is the end of this video. If you think my instruction is helpful and clear, give me a like, share the video for me. If you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button. If you're on your way out, I will meet you all in the next video. Signing out.